A new study says violent video games can actually change the brain of teenagers. And for the first time, it shows how watching violence affects an adolescent's brain. KITV 4's Dick Allgaier joining us now on why this should concern parents. Dick? Paula, this study just came out hours ago in the Oxford Journal Social, Cognitive, and Effective Neuroscience. Teenage boys were given MRIs while they watched violent videos. Researchers actually could see their brains becoming desensitized. Computer video games have gotten more and more realistic and increasingly violent. Teens are taught to shoot human beings on screen in a heartbeat. Previous research has shown people can become more aggressive and desensitized to real-life violence after repeated exposure to violent media programs. This new study looked at how this happens. It's something that you've known or we've known, and what it does is it put science to what was always known clinically. 14 to 17-year-old boys watched only moderately violent scenes. MRIs looked at their brains and found, over time, the region of their brain that is involved in emotions became less responsive. Dr. Barry Carlton is the director of the Family Treatment Center at Queens Medical Center. As a parent, I think the issue becomes one of balance. As a culture and society, we have to look at what we are providing our kids for, and in a way, what gives implicit permission for violence, which is what access to these games do. Dr. Carlton says it is impossible to ban violent videos, but he says parents should consider putting a limit on them. I think as adults and as a society, we have a certain amount of responsibility to examine what we are giving to teenagers to use. And I think as adults and parents, we do need to look at that and see if there is a way to limit teenagers' access to the violent, to violent games. The researchers concluded exposure to aggressive media blunts the emotional response of adolescents, and that in turn increases aggressive behavior. Paula? Okay, so Dick, the experts are saying that people might actually react in real life the same way they do while playing a video game. Paula, that's exactly what they're saying. Electronic games stimulate structures in the brain that encourage aggression. All right, Dick, thank you very much.